welcome back! So finding an apartment in Paris is definitely not easy. It's one of the hardest things that I have ever had to do, I think. I just really wanted to make a video that's hopefully going to be helpful for anyone who is looking into moving to Paris at some point. Here are the tips that I think actually is going to work and that are going to help you. So let's see. So my first tip is you actually have to be in Paris to find an apartment. I know some people book apartments before coming here, which is crazy for me. Like I would never transfer money to anyone before I even see the apartment, before I even meet them. So I would not recommend sending money to anyone before you see their apartment. It's just a lot better to be in Paris before you do anything here. Oh, I think the best thing that you can do is just book an Airbnb for like a week or two weeks. If you don't want it to get super stressful, make it like two weeks and just make it your mission to find an apartment. But it's a lot better to be physically in Paris before you sign a contract for an apartment, for sure. Second tip is be alert and super quick to react. So what I did was I literally sat in front of my computer the whole day and I was waiting for like the new apartments to pop up on my feed on the websites that I will talk to you about later. And I was just literally waiting for new apartments and if I saw anything that I liked or there was anything that I had in mind that could I could potentially want to live there. I literally, like the minute it showed up, I just contacted the landlord and I was like, hi, why can I come to visit the apartment? Can I come now? Can I come please? <laughs> yeah, just be very quick and very fast because most of these apartments are taken by someone by the end of the day usually, especially the good ones. So be super fast. What really sucks is that a lot of the times people don't put their phone numbers on the websites. I usually just love them a message if I didn't see their phone number, but usually it takes quite a long time for them to get back to you. Third tip is don't be shocked about the price. I don't know where you live, how expensive the apartments are in the city that you live in. Compared to where I come from, Paris is super expensive and the thing is here, landlords will ask you like a whole bunch of money for like a one bedroom, literal nothing in a really bad area. So don't be shocked about the prices. Also be willing to compromise. For example, I did end up moving in the suburban area because I couldn't find anything within my budget, it's fine. Just be, be, be willing to compromise. And yeah, if you cannot find something in downtown or in the area that you wanna live in within your budget, just yeah, look somewhere else. Paris is huge. I'm sure you will find something somewhere. And if you like a place, don't hesitate. One of the things that I really regret doing is that I showed some signs of hesitation and doubt. And there was one specific apartment that I really, really, really liked. But I was kind of like, you know, I was like, oh, I'm sure they're gonna be like, maybe better flats, you know? No, if you like something, tell the landlord that you really like it and that you will give an answer as soon as possible. The thing here in Paris is that there are so many people looking for apartments that literally the landlords will going to have the luxury to choose from like, literally like hundreds of potential people who want to lend their apartment. So there's just like so many people. So be really obvious if you like a place, you know, don't play hard to get. When I find the place that I really, really liked, I was originally like, okay, I really want to move in here. Here's the deposit. And when can I move in, you know? I was not hesitating. I was like, yeah, this is the place. I probably will not find a better one in two days. So I really want to move in here. There's just such a huge competition between people wanting to find a place here. Also the papers that you will need. People in France, they just love paperwork. So you will need to have quite a lot of papers if you want to rent an apartment here. First is your ID or passport. The proof of your three less salary is also something that 
landlords like to ask for you. I also wrote a little like introduction of who I am, what I'm doing here, which school I'm going to go to, your uh, student card if you're a student. Some landlords also ask you for a French guarant, like a, like a sponsor kind of, just like someone in France who is going to like um, be responsible for you. If you don't have one, I think sometimes for foreigners it's also fine, but some landlords do ask for that. Also, if you don't speak French, definitely ask someone who speaks French to go with you. I have no idea how people rent out apartments here without speaking French. French people are really <laughs> famous for not speaking English, if anything else. So I really don't know how you could manage finding an apartment here without speaking French, but I'm sure it's possible. It's still better to have someone who speaks French because your contract is also probably going to be in French. So get someone, get a translator or ask a friend or I don't know. So you find a place, you find an apartment that you really like, your papers is also fine. The contract. Read the contract very carefully before you sign anything. There are some contracts that ask you to give you a deposit money and also like a security deposit money. So some places ask twice the deposit. Just be really careful because people are tricky. Ask someone to review it for you who speaks French because I speak French and I read the contract and I was like, what? Like, it's a totally different language. Uh, take a picture of everything, like each room where you're moving in. If something is broken already be when you're moving in, take a picture of that and put in the contract that it wasn't you. So when you leave, they will not make you pay for that. Just make sure to read everything and be super careful and take a picture of everything and put everything in a contract that's already broken. And yeah, just be super careful. For ending this video, here's some of the sites that really helped me when finding an apartment here. Le Bon Coin, it's kind of like, um, well, French people say that it's kind of um, like a scam site. There are some good apartments there, but there are definitely a lot of scam here. You can find like super beautiful apartments for like 300 euros here. So that's probably gonna be a scam. That's a lie. But some some apartments are, are actually legit here. There is a, a partage. I did end up finding my apartment at this side. So yeah, that one, I really recommend this one. This one is really good. Um, there's also pay a pay, like pop. And then se loger. This one is also good, but these ones are usually like only for like studio rooms. So if you're not into those, um, yeah, these websites are not for you. There is also La Carte Coloc. I think most people don't even really know this website. I never see this website among the recommended ones, but this one is super good. And also there is a Roomster, which apparently is like an international website. I think this one is also not that known yet, but you can find some good ones here. And also there are some really good Facebook groups. There is a Logement, Logement à Paris. Uh, that one is super good. The only thing is in the Facebook groups, there are usually a lot of people and they're all super fast to react. Yeah, but still, you never know. Look around in the Facebook groups too. Yeah, I think I said everything that I wanted to say. Let me know if you have more tips. You never know what I'm gonna need in the future. And yeah, just don't give up. I did end up finding my apartment in four days, three actually, in three days. You can do it. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a like and subscribe as usual. And yeah, we'll see you soon, bye.